right guys, so for today's review, we're gonna talk about the, uh, the WorkSharp knife and tool sharpener. Uh, now this is just, it really is an amazing tool. I would go so far as to say it changed, uh, changed my life for the better. You know, that's a bold statement, but you know, the way I do things, it really, really had a big impact on, uh, on the way I sharpen my knives and, and my tools in general. So anyway, we're gonna get started today here. Just a quick overview of the product. Uh, what this is, is this is basically an electric motor that drives a, uh, a tensioned belt. And, and what this does is this, this tension belt is kind of shaped more or less like a triangle. And you get these different guides that snap onto the tool. And, and by doing this, you're able to, to maintain precise angles while sharpening your tool. Uh, you know, and right here with the, uh, the, on the package, you can, you can see there, I'll show you. And, and the reason that, that this tool is, is portrayed as such a good, uh, a good sharpening tool is that it creates a convex bevel as opposed to a flat bevel. And, uh, you know, I'll just read off the box here, but the, the flexible belts create a superior convex grind to the blade. The edge is stronger, cuts better and stays sharper longer. Now, you know, I don't know about all that compared to, you know, whatever. That's, that's, the, that's those guys saying it. What I can tell you is you can sharpen a knife really fast. It'll stay sharp really long. And whenever I say sharp, I mean razor sharp. So, uh, you know, that's, that's really what I, I want. I got the point. And that's what I want to kind of, you know, give to you guys is this thing works. So once again, you know, you guys can see that this, this is not brand new out of the box. I've, I've had this, uh, this tool now for, I think, three or four years. Uh, you know, I've had it for a while and it has been well used. So once again, I try to give you guys reviews of, of real world products that I have, what I feel put to a good test. And this is, this is no different. Uh, this is the standard, the basic, the standard basic model. Uh, I know they have a, a several different models. I think they have a Ken Onion and a, and a couple other. Uh, this is just your, your bare bones basic. I think these you can get right around for $50 right now, which is, in my opinion, a steal for what you're getting. Um, so basically with this knife, you get two, two angle blades. One is uh, what they consider, you know, uh, a kitchen knife, more of a, a kitchen knife, it's 40 degrees. And then they have um, this second, second guide and this is 50 degrees this would be more for like a, your pocket knives your utility style and not your hunting knives and uh, then it also has a, uh, a scissors for uh, a scissors guide at 65 degrees if you want to do scissors and then a, a guide for serrated knives so you can really cover a wide variety now if you look at uh, the the infomercials or whatever you know they talk about oh you can sharpen your your lawnmower blades and machetes and all that. Now, I don't know about all that, you know. This this thing, it, it is nice. It, it does it does rotate a little bit. You can rotate it, you know, to be more of a, a grinding tool, you know, or uh, or something like that. I wouldn't, I mean, grinding lawnmower blades and sharpening them, I think that's a bit of a stretch, but uh, most definitely like a machete or something like that, I, I could definitely see, and I, I have used that, uh, used it for something like this. So with your knife, you're going to get a variety, uh, or your knife sharpener rather, you're going to get a variety of uh, belts, and these belts is, will have different uh, different grits on them. They've got an 80, a 220, and a 6,000. Personally, once you get a good edge on everything, I've found the 220 is is just fine. As it wears down, you know, it kind of turns into a fine, and it's it's my general. Now, the reason I'm telling you this, I use this uh, this particular knife sharpener for all my skinning knives. And I do a lot of skinning. Uh, so this knife gets used, you know, for about three months a year, it gets used two to three times a day. So it, it's it's quite a, quite a bit of use is what I put on this knife. And whenever I say this 220 is, is a good, good option, you know, that's a good roundabout. I run these knives, I dull them real quick, and uh, I run them back through, put an edge back on them. So if you're starting from scratch or something, you may want to play with it. Uh, you know, this is everything from, from these skinning knives or kitchen knives here, uh, pocket knives, you know, it'll do 
more kitchen knives, and uh, you know this is a, a serrated blade off of electric fish sharpener, or a electric fish knife rather. So basically, I'll, I'll just demonstrate for you, you, uh, you know, how this thing works, and it's really, uh, it's really neat. So we'll just put in this, uh, this big, big guide here. This is more for your kitchen knives. It's 40 degrees, and I'll just, we'll just pull the trigger down. This thing's got a, a, a monetary switch on it, and it's got a constant switch. So depending on, you know, if you if you're running through, I personally like to just hold it down, uh, you know, with the the trigger, and let it go. Uh, it's up to you. But real simple. I mean, you just simply just run your knife through here, and hold it against that guide, and drag it through. I mean, it's it's that simple. Really, really very simple. And in an say these knives are sharp. I mean, they are, you know, from the, just, just a little bit, they'll, they'll shave hair. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a really, really nice tool. Like I said, I sharpen a lot of knives really quick uh, with this thing. Now, as far as the serrated uh, goes, I, I personally take all the guards off. This is a, a blade off a fish electric uh, flay knife. So you're only wanting to really hit this back edge, this flat edge. And it's real simple. You just take and pull the trigger. And you're just taking that burr off is all you're doing. And then your knives are just incredibly sharp again. Now, the one thing I will say, and this is, this is in my opinion, the only drawback of this tool uh, is this, this thing, because you're dragging your belts through, the point of your knife, this thing has a tendency to really, really burn off the tips of your knife. Uh, so if you have some, some higher end knives, some more expensive knives, you may want to watch out for that. Um, you know, you can see right there that, that how that has kind of rolled that edge up. Uh, this, this pocket knife here, I've sharpened many, many a time. You can see, now I, I kind of get away with after after I sharpen it, I just touch up the back side and put a little bit of a point on it. This is just a pocket knife, so it's not that big of a deal. But you know, if you've got some higher end knives that you're wanting to um, you know to sharpen with this, just be aware that that because of the way you need to drag the blade across this belt, it will have a tendency to roll and take the very sharp point off your knife. Now you know you can look at that as a good thing or a bad thing, and whether it's worth it or not. Personally, I, it's not that big of a deal to me. If I want to sharpen it, uh, you know, a good quality knife, I'll sit down with a stone. But for quick and easy, this thing here is just awesome. These are the replacement blades that you can get for this thing. They're, they're the WorkSharp brand. Uh, replacement blades, they run about eight or nine bucks. They're not that expensive. And like I said, these, these belts here, if you work them right, they really, uh, they last a long time. Like I said, I've even taken these, this coarse one, which is the 80 grit, and I've actually taken just a, a back of a piece of steel and taken a lot of the, the grit off of this and just wore it down to what would be more like a 220 grit and just used it on through. Because like I said, the way I use these, uh, this sharpener for touching up skinning knives all the time, it's really, really a, a good tool. So anyway, um, the Work Sharp Knife and Tool Sharpener. Uh, like I said, guys, check it out. I, I really don't think you'll be disappointed. Till next time, guys, thanks for watching.